Hi everyone, this is Anil Bhatia again from PAT Fun Begins Practical Architectural Training, a unit of ADS Architects Design Studio. In our last video on electrical work in a residence, we learnt about how to represent an electrical drawing for a small drawing room and how to calculate the light wattage required for this room. Our next step was to learn how to automate the switchboards in the room. How to switch on the lights, fans and even the air conditioner by using an app on the mobile. So automation is of two types. Let's look at the diagram on the left. This shows a small apartment with three bedrooms, one kitchen and one drawing room. Now there are two ways to automate almost each device in a flat. Whether it is the lights, fans, ACs, geysers, anything, any electrical device can be automated via a phone. One way is to fully automate every device by pre-planning the electrical circuits at the wiring stage itself. And the second way is a retrofit solution. Retrofit means that the switchboards are already existing like in the case of the drawing room we discussed in our last video. Now let's show the two drawings of the drawing room again. The ceiling electrical, have a look and the wall electrical drawing. Have a closer look. Let me once again explain these drawings. The SB1 switch, that switchboard, which is the main switchboard at the entry, that controls all the lights, fans and the chandelier. And the SB3 and SB5, if you remember, they were controlling the air conditioners. The SB2 controls the table lamp and SB4 controls the heater required for the winters. All these switches and sockets are of the modular kind, say Northwest make or any similar make. Let's take an example of our own drawing room where we are installing this kind of automation device. And that's the switchboard there where we shall be fitting this device. In the retrofit automation, a relay device is placed at the back of the switches for each switchboard. So for the main switchboard, which is the 12 module one, we have to control in this case, two fans, two downlighter switches, two cove light switches and one chandelier. Accordingly, two relays shall be required, each relay controlling four points. And these relays are controlled via this phone through a Wi-Fi network. So we can't use this system without a very good Wi-Fi network. That should be very clear. The app is downloaded on the phone. Have a look on the left. And each switch can be put on and off through this phone now. It is that simple. Have a look at this switchboard. It's our drawing room. You can see the relay being fitted behind the switch plate. Have a closer look. We now what we do is we download the app from the Play Store that is shown there. We download it from the Play Store on the or the App Store. Now after the app is downloaded, it asks us to register ourselves and connect to the common Wi-Fi network we have here. Then we go to the settings option. Now have a closer look at the diagram. This is required to set up a new device by clicking on device setup and then click on the plus sign 
to add that device. Now we get a list of different modules. Here we have to automate the lights. So we select the lighting module. Have a closer look again. We are zooming onto that lighting module. Now you see four module codes. Since we have four modules in this room, on clicking the code, one of the four modules, a list of all the switches appears. Again, have a closer look at the diagram. That is on the phone. Now on the home page, we can see all the switches and our devices can now be operated by our phone. Then you assign name to each switch to a particular light fixture. This app can be used to operate the devices from anywhere as long as you are connected to the Wi-Fi. We can even use this as a dimmer and dim any light circuit or the regulator of the fan. Similarly, if a relay is put behind the SB2 plate which controls the AC, we can put the AC on and off. And we can even bring the remote of the AC on our phone and make all the controls of the AC such as fan speed, temperature, etc. Some retrofit solutions have a function to get the remotes of the devices on the phone. But if a retrofit solution does not have the capacity to bring the remote on the phone for any device, then there is another solution. We can set up an infrared controller. Have a closer look. It looks like this. This is plugged into a normal socket. In the same app, we can set up our infrared remote control too. Here we add the device in the same way as we did before. After adding the name of the device, we select IR module instead of lighting module this time. Now, as soon as we set up a device and give it a name, it will ask us to select the type of device for which the remote is required. Once we have selected the device, in this case, we have selected the air conditioner. It asks us to select a company from a list of companies manufacturing air conditioners. Once the company is selected, a remote for the AC appears on the app. Have a closer look. Now this app can be used to switch the AC on off as well as to change the temperature, fan speed, etc. like a normal remote. But you will require one such IR controller that I have shown you, IR controller per room in most cases, which can generally be controlled by remaining inside the room. So if you try to control an IR module from outside far away, it is slightly not possible. But this is a retrofit solution. In case of full automation, the circuits of all switchboards are connected to a hub. And this hub is connected to the Wi-Fi of the house. And our phone can literally control any device from anywhere in the house and even from any part of the world. So automation is not a difficult thing to do if it is a retrofit solution. But for full automation, the prices are very high and a lot of technicalities are there too. Now we have understood the basics of automation and in case you are interested to learn this in detail, please feel free to mail your queries. Now next we have to learn about security solutions or CCTV cameras for homes and intercom systems and again what kind of wiring is required for that. We must also learn about how wiring is done 
for a small house right from the meter board to the distribution board and finally till the circuit till the switch board we are limiting ourselves to only a house and not bigger projects for which we will definitely require consultants we should be able to complete this in our next video again i must introduce my team who has helped me in the research and presentation sanchi who is an intern did a fabulous job of getting complete info on automation and also got the setup done for this particular drawing room and shivangi did the complete presentation for all queries please note down the email id mentioned below and we shall be happy to answer to all your queries till our next concluding video on electrical work in a house bye take care